This is a quick tutorial to show you how to display VIRS imagery from either SUMI NPP or uh, NOAA 20 JPSS1 in Mikitis V. So I've started up Mikitis V here. Um, I'm assuming you've downloaded it. If not, um, go to your favorite web browser, enter Mikitis V download, and then follow the instructions to download it. It's pretty simple. It's usually one click. That's all you need to do. So when Mikitis V opens here, which would be now, okay, now, um, you see this, there are two windows, and we're going to look initially in the, uh, in the Data Explorer window where we're looking for data sources. So I had done this earlier, so we already had the sources loaded. So we have these sources loaded up. I got these from class, uh, and we're going to choose the SUMI NPP imagery that's in here. Um, so it has NPP in the file name versus J01 for NOAA 20. And we're going to add that source. Um, and the first thing that happens is you have to specify the data source type correctly. So the default Hydra is not there, but this is the JPSS data source. So just scroll down um, and then load it, and then wait while it loads. Um, how fast this takes really depends on your computer. The computer I'm using is, you know, not top of the line, um, but I'm used to it. Uh, so I, I keep it on the shelf, so it's not top shelf. Um, so here we have the data that's been loaded. Um, we have the different files. The nice thing about SUMI NPP VIRS imagery here is that all these files are kind of going to be combined into one image. These are granules. So we click on the image and the different kinds of fields that we can create are shown. And we're going to click on reflectance. Remember this is the uh, band 9 um, Cirrus channel 1.38 micrometer imagery from SUMI NPP. So there's not a lot of reflectance in a lot of the region so it's hard to tell where it is. If we click on Radiance, you can see the exact path or the footprint of the imagery, and it's pretty much what we expect given what we looked at with the orbit path earlier. So we're going to go back to the reflectance, click on that, <coughs> and create the display. So click on reflectance. It takes, you know, a couple seconds to show up. Um, you can choose a portion of this um, using a shift, uh, a shift and a click to make with a wire with a wire box, um, and then you click to add display. Um, this, in, this box came up. I'm not sure what it did. I didn't notice when I made this that it actually created a display in the window. I thought it didn't do it for some reason, so I'm just going to click on it again and redo the same thing. This time the window doesn't come up. So now we have two fields created. We'll just get rid of the one. Um, <coughs> and now we can zoom in and we see in the image the 1.38 uh, let's scroll up, move up, move up a little bit. Um, we can see this cirrus channel, the 1.38 micrometer um, over the southern plains. So we've loaded up the imagery. There are a couple things to look at here. We can scroll, we can move around. Um, we can zoom in. <coughs> the nice thing about zooming in, let's make this window a little bit bigger too. I think I'm going to do that now. Zoom in nicely. And then make the window bigger. We're looking at the we're looking at the structure in the cloud tops here. It shows up very nicely. Again, but if you go to the left, um, we're seeing the left hand side of the VR scan, and we see the what I would call the bow tie effect. So as you scan away from Nader, um, you start having regions where imagery is not uh, created. So you can change. Um, you can change the, you can change the display from from medium to high the, the quality of it from medium to high and that starts to fill in the bow tie effect here. I keep scrolling the wrong way, but you see that the those parallel parallel lines have mostly been diminished. And as you make it as you go even higher, um, they're going to be gone altogether. You can also uh, color enhance this. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but if you were to click on the uh, um, the imagery. Uh, that blue enhancement there, right click on it, and you can see some ways to color enhance this image if, if that's something you wanted to do. So that's how you load up imagery and view it in Mikitis V.